اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى آل ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى آل ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد Imam Sabi is saying that by the grace and mercy of Allah, we have been hearing the dars of the traditions of the Holy Prophet ﷺ in the month of Ramadan. And everyone listening can uh, see that we are able to hear the statements and the instructions of the Holy Prophet ﷺ uh, spread across various um, uh, forms of life and um, and we hear new instruction every every single day by the grace of god in today's tradition the first matter that the imam sahib wishes to present is to do with the uh, greatness and the exalted status of the companions of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la tasubu sahabi falaw anna ahadukum anfaka mithla uhdin zahaban مَا بَلَغَ مُدَّعَذِهِمْ وَلَا نَسِيفَهُ This tradition is taken from Bukhari and Muslim. And uh, Imam Sif says that perhaps this is not uh, a tradition that is known very often or is, is mentioned very often. But it is it has a very basic and fundamental matter mentioned in and it points towards the exalted status of the companions. And Imam, uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu has reminded us to always um, treat them with high regard and esteem. And the Holy Prophet Sallallahu says in this regard, in this tradition, that never use any disrespectful language with, uh, in respect of the companions. Some people, in their ignorance, they may use certain inappropriate words about the Holy Prophet Sallallahu This has been vehemently disallowed and discouraged that La Tasubbu, they don't ever say anything negative about my companions. And the, um, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said uh, to prove this fact as to why they, you shouldn't do so is that the Holy Prophet said that if you were to spend a heap of gold the size of the old mountain, you would still not be able to match their sacrifice, which might have only been the size of a mud. Imam Sahib says that mud is a small measure um, uh, which was used in the olden days in trade, etc., Imam Sahib said, let's look at the translation of this tradition again. He says that uh, my companions, may Allah be pleased with all of them, don't ever say anything negative about them. You should praise them and try to follow in their footsteps. So in this regard, to say anything um, negative about them uh, is is completely um impossible because how could you follow them if you have something negative to say about them and the holy prophet said that even if you spend the amount of gold comparable to the mountain of Uhud which is a quite a high mountain then they can, you it cannot be it could, could cannot equate the tiny bit of sacrifice that they offered for islam so there, um, the companion status is so exalted that we should, all of our believers, all of us believers, should always follow in their footsteps, and we should not should not um, say anything neg- uh, negative or anything bad about them. Um, and because the the small amount of wheat or grain or rice that they may have uh, sacrificed is it's unmatchable for us so we can reach nowhere near the amount of uh, st- uh, sacrifice that they offered in the path of Allah or their incredible status that they achieved um, because of their, the, their good uh, fortune that they were um, close to the Holy Prophet 
so their uh, status was so exalted and they were uh, they had the great fortune of seeing the holy prophet sallallahu with their own eyes and they were blessed to hear the words of the holy prophet sallallahu with their own ears and um, they, they were able to adopt his example in their lives and at every situation they sh- uh, displayed great obedience and, uh, and so their status is extremely high which is why we often use the words about them that may Allah be pleased with them and may Allah great give them this exalted status of Allah being pleased with them all the time in Imam Sir says that uh, in the next tradition which is uh, also to do with a, a different aspect of uh, uh, of our lives uh, so Imam Sir said this is it is very good to have such miscellaneous uh, hadiths so that we we see that we have we understand how to act in various uh, situations in life the next tradition has been taken from uh, surah from nasai book of tradition and this particular tradition is to do with male issues and uh, the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi instructs uh, men to um, trim your your uh, moustaches and c- in comparison he said about beards which is an identification of a man though he says to let your beards grow and don't take them off completely that is you shouldn't be clean shaven you should not let them be so your beard be so small that it is tantamount to being clean shaven imam said that this is apparently a small matter which has been mentioned in this tradition and the Holy Prophet ﷺ has advised us uh, and instructed the men of or among Muslims. So he, the words are that trim your um, moustaches and in comparison don't trim your beards, that is don't, don't make them so uh, sh- short that it is as if they are, you are completely clean shaven. The, your a beard should be should be seen on your faces so this is one of the ways of life of a muslim one of the instructions on how muslim should look like and imam sub says that what is important to know here is that they should be uh, we should follow the middle way in everything so imam sub says that you see some people with extremely long mustaches and they look as if they are very proud of their moustaches. Um, this they style it is as if they wish for them to be seen. That look at how long my eyelash, my must moustaches are, my moustache is rather. As Imam Sir says, that this is this uh, reeks of arrogance. So, um, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said that keep your moustaches short. And it should not be so long that if they are drinking something, um, then the moustache should be dipping into the tea or water or milk or whatever. So keeping them short keeps people humble and keeps them away from arrogance, which is a very good thing. And in comparison about the beard, Imam Sahib says that, um, and this is mostly... We see uh, this in the world, uh, that people are usually clean shaven. And about that, it says that it should not be, uh, this should not be the case. And or the, neither the uh, beard should be so small that it should look as if it's clean shaven. So um, having a beard is one of the characteristics of a Muslim because it displays a manhood. And it also makes people appear to have gravitas and it's a source of respect and honor and usually people who have a beard are usually regarded as um, respectful and honorable so these are things which sometimes appear minor to people but this it it, it um, is an example of walking on the middle path um in every in every matter and this is what is evident in this tradition as well the third tradition here today the words of 
the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم آه خيركم خيركم لأهلي وأنا خيركم لأهلي it's a very beautiful tradition Imam Sahib says in which the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says that oh believers remember that the best among you is he who is the best with his um, treated treats his family the best and I am the best among all of you with my towards my family members this is very clearly evident in this tradition that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has uh, instructed uh, and taught all of his um, followers to treat their family well and said that the best among you is the one who is the best with his family members and then this this is an instruction and but the it is important to note that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam immediately after that said that wa ana khairukum la ahlihi that look at me look at my example i am in in front of you and i can give you my example that i am the best among you acting towards in acting towards um my my companion sorry my family so by displaying his own example the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told all the believers reminded all the believers how to act and when the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam adopted this particular method then it is the, an obligation on every true believer that they should uh, follow this this path they should follow this instruction that they should be able to say that i am also uh, a um a model of how a man should act with his family may allah enable us always to um, treat our family in the best way in following the footsteps of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam amen